with Donna Smith Bellinger. She is your sales manager on demand. She works with organizations and entrepreneurs sharing the revenue up system. We like that. And Donna, here's my question for you. You and I had a conversation and we started talking about unconscious bias. So what is unconscious bias and how does it show up and impact our our businesses? I'm so happy you asked that. So a lot of us uh, have just had conversations uh, around some of those situations. Um, I'll give you a quick example, though. I had a conversation with a hiring manager uh, last week, and he indicated to me that he had a tendency, when I talked about hiring practices, he had a tendency to hire people who attended the same Big Ten schools he attended. All right. One of the things that I mention frequently to men that I talk to, and I have a lot of men that I work with, is that there is a distinction in, and it's an unconscious bias in the way they introduce women. So if it's someone that they have a choice between a man and a woman, same thing, same, perhaps they're both CPAs, then the gentleman will introduce uh, the gentleman as a really great guy. We get together and we do these things together. And he'd probably be a really good introduction for you. But, you know, there's also a woman um, who's a parent on my son's soccer team. And I think she does something like that, too. That's an unconscious. Trish is like, oh, God. Yes. So that is an unconscious bias. Then there's also the assumption of what types of projects they should recommend. Wonderful, brilliant woman I work with who said, oh, yeah. Jayish, I have a little project I can send to him. And I said, why would you send him a little project? He has every capability of handling the larger one that we just talked about. So why would you send him a $150 project when he can handle the $5,000 project? I didn't think about him like that. No, you didn't. You didn't think about him in that way. So what happens is you limit the money that is available to you when you limit your pool. If you feel you can only sell to women, then you're only going to get so much. If you feel that you can only sell within a certain zip code, then you're only going to get so much. So those are some of the things. And and with Jerry, God, I love you so much because my family is all four shades I'm just going to tell you that, and one day I'll share a picture with you. But you must see people based upon their capabilities uh, as opposed to what makes you comfortable. And that's typically the way people buy or sell. They do it with emotion first, Mm -hmm. and and you want to move away from that. Fabulous. Well, Again, and I, and I think this is the first time um, our community is getting to know you. So I've had the privilege of knowing you for a little bit now. So I am sure everybody is um, delighted that you're part of the faculty. And actually your course that's inside of the academy is um, communicating across gender, generation, and... And geography. And geography. Why doesn't anybody understand me? How to communicate across gender, generation, and geography. Yeah, so good, so good. All right, thank you so much, Donna. Let's hear it for all of our faculty members that you've had the opportunity to meet.